Well, who'd have thought the alien would be Sergeant Breathment? I did. We all did, Fozzie. Oh, right. Sergeant Breathman, why would you do such a thing? You're a police officer. You should have done be doing your job. He was doing his job, Chief Landers. What? Sergeant Breathman was doing his job until he discovered the gold in the mine. Sergeant Bretman was doing his job as a police officer when he decided to stop by the old mine, check on things, make sure no one was trespassing. And he went for a little walk in the mine. But then he stumbled down a hill and discovered the gold wall and the gold nuggets on the ground. Sergeant Bretman knew the miners didn't know that the gold was deep in the mine that and it was closed because of the oil spill and sergeant breathman didn't want anyone to figure out about the gold and because he wanted it for himself oh i get it and he knew that miss hodgen the nighttime jogger, Antonio Martin, and Manfred Raspberry lived next to the mine. And if they heard Sergeant Breathman's pickaxe mine the gold, they would call the station and complain and send you and your officers, Chief Landers, to investigate. So Sergeant Breathman made a plan to make everyone think that aliens were invading Coolsville. That's why he kidnapped Miss Hodgen, Antonio Martin, Manfred Raspberry, and the nighttime jogger. I'm starting to get it. I remember Sergeant Breathman telling me that he used to design costumes, and he's great at Acrobatics. Right, Sergeant Breathmint? Hmm. I'm not talking. You all ruined everything. Wait. Then who are the other two men in the alien costumes? Uh, those are hired henchmen. Or prisoners who broke out of jail, Miss Piggy. Yeah, these are criminals from the... Coolsville Prison. I helped them break out of jail last month. And I asked him, I asked him to help me. And I told him not to hurt anyone. But unfortunately, that's when they, when this guy with no hair threw Mayor Rogers into the barbecue. I do apologize, Mayor Rogers. He, I didn't mean to ma make one of my henchmen hurt you. Well, because of you, Sergeant Breathmint, Mayor Rogers can't lie down for a week. Yeah. And why do Vu want the gold so bad? Because that gold is worth lots of money. And it's not a big deal to me. And I didn't want to share it to anyone. So, you were selfish? Yes, I was selfish. I wanted the gold for myself. And it's still mine. Oh, no, it's not. Bad man, bad man. Right, animal. Sergeant Breathman is a bad man. He's become a criminal. But why did you crash the barbecue? The barbecue was also next to the mine, I'm guessing, Gonzo. Right, Kermit? Egg, correct Amongo, Gary. Also, 
If these aren't real aliens, then how do they stick to the walls of our backyard fence? Oh, I can, I can answer your question, Scooter. Sergeant Brethnett wore suction cups under his costume. That's how he was able to crawl and run and stick to the backyard fence. He wore suction cups. And Chief Landers, yeah, Walter, when you were yelling at Sergeant Brethnett after he was picking at our bus and tried to accuse us, I noticed some yellow on his hands. So I noticed that he was mining at the gold recently. That's why his hands were yellow, because that's the same color gold is. And Sergeant Brethnett bought bottles of green dish soap to make everyone think that dish soap was alien slime. And left that pickaxe at Manfred's to throw us off the track and then steal it at our house later. And what about how he made himself throw up that green dish soap? There's your answer, Fozzie. A special make-it-yourself throw-up tube. Whenever someone touches Sergeant Brethman, it activates the little tube that makes him throw up green dish soap. <laughs> now that I do find funny, I gotta admit. <laughs> but what have you done to Miss Hodgen, Antonio Martin, the nighttime jogger, and Manfred Raspberry? They're locked up in that old building over there. That's where you'll find them. Bang, 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 bang. Hey, isn't that the same sound you heard earlier, Fozzie? As a matter of fact, yes it is. Go let them out, my fellow officers. I hope Miss Hodgins okay. Don't worry, Fozzie. I'm sure she is. Ugh. Miss Hodgins! Fozzie! Ah! Oh. Oh, Fozzie. Miss Hodgins, I was so worried about you. Fozzie? Give Miss Hodgins some space. Remember what she did back in February this year? Ow. Oh. Sorry, Miss Hodgins. Don't worry about it, Fozzie. I only kidnapped them because I didn't want them to hear me mining all the way from their homes. Kermit already said that, Sergeant Brethnett. Now you. Stay quiet. I don't want to hear another word from you. <sighs> I know. Also, Sergeant Brethnett crashed the barbecue to scare everyone away. And he didn't want everyone to see him changing into his alien costume in his car. That's why it was parked outside the party tent. But he told me that he had stuff to do at the station. That's what he wanted you to think, Chief Landers. He lied to you. He did say he was going to do some stuff at the station. But really, the reason why he parked his car so he can go into the bushes and change his costume. So he can attack everyone at the party. I mean, end of summer barbecue. He's no alien, but he is a criminal. Ugh, get up.
You try to make everyone think that we did it, Sergeant Breathmint. But everyone knows we should, we would have never, we, we would never kidnap anyone. Even though you did try to accuse us by picking out our bus. But we knew it had to be you kidnapping everyone because like Walter said, you were, you had some yellow gold on your hands while mining at the mine for the gold. And the gold rightfully belongs to the whole town. Yeah! This is what you get for kidnapping Fozzie's friend. Can I, T Flanders? Go right ahead, Miss Piggy. Hi, ya! Ooh! Sergeant Breathman? I am very disappointed in you. Consider yourself fired. You're no longer sergeant of the Coolsville Police Department. And you're going to be in, be in even more trouble when the captain figure finds out about this. What? No, 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 no. Chief, chief, chief. The captain doesn't, know, doesn't need to know about this. Sorry, Sergeant Breathman, but can't help you there. I'm the chief. I do my job, and so does the captain of the Coolsville Police Department. Ugh. Ugh. I would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for you meddling Muppets. Especially that frog. Great job, Uncle Kermit. Thank you, Robin. Well, Sergeant Breathmint, you're going away jail for a long time. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. And I've seen alien movies like Scooby-Doo and the Space Chase and Thomas and Friends Alien Alert. And you know where the criminals always go? To jail. Take them away, guys. Or should I say, take them away. Do you believe in aliens, Waldorf? No, aliens aren't real and neither are we. Duh! <laughs> this just in, Sergeant Breathman just got arrested. And moi was sure that it was Heather Blank and Paul Fannett. Paul Fannett and Heather Blank may look like some obvious suspects. Miss Piggy, but I did some research and they couldn't do gymnastic or design costumes. So, unfortunately, it wasn't them. Moi figured that out. Congratulations, Muppets. Thank you, Mr. Paul. Yeah, that's right. Have fun. For the rest of your life in jail, Sergeant Breathmint. Uh, Chief Landers? I have Red Raspberry threatened us with a gun when we, were, when we found the pickaxe in his yard. Excuse me, Mr. Manfred Raspberry. What? What do you want? I heard when the Muppets found a pickaxe in your yard, you threatened them with a gun. Yeah, because they were trespassing. Well, you realize threatening someone with a gun is a federal offense and that you can go to jail for threatening someone with a stick, a gun, and other weapons I'm not going to mention because this is a kid's movie and it's almost over. They were trespassing. It doesn't matter. You don't approach someone with a gun. It's a federal offense. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to arrest you too. What? No. No. Now, put your hands behind your back. Drop the gun. Drop the gun. 
Drop the gun! I got the gun, Chief Landers. Thanks, Antonio. Manfred Raspberry, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Like I said, threatening someone with a gun is a federal offense and you can go to jail. What Muppets? What Muppets? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. And your house will be searched for any more guns you have. And, and, and think about this. If someone's trespassing on my yard, do I threaten them with a gun? No. I talk to them and ask them nicely to leave. Now get in the car and do not resist. I do not resist! Okay, okay. Ugh. I knew Manfred Raspberry would get arrested by threatening us with a gun. Uh, I think I need a... Don't be scared anymore. Hug from you, Miss Hodgin. Sure, Fozzie. Hmm. Aww. 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 Gross!